Cowabunga, dudes and dudettes. An awesome new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game is here. It's made for the fans, by the fans. TMNT Rescue Palooza is something special. It takes me back to my childhood days of playing the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game on the Nintendo and the many games that followed. Merso X has created some truly amazing 2D platform games that all of you classic gamers will surely love and new gamers will absolutely fall in love with. If the name Merso X sounds familiar to you, that's because he created the game Power Rangers Beats of Power back in 2014. If you haven't downloaded either game, I highly recommend that you do. I downloaded both last night and I love them. Now, back to TMNT Rescue Palooza. It's described as a free, fan-made beat-em-up game with 60 playable characters, 17 stages, 4 bonus stages, 4-player local co-op, improved graphics, voice clips from the TV show, rideable vehicles, and countless references to the original TMNT cartoon and toy line. What more could anyone ask? It's an updated homage to the classic NES titles with never-before-playable characters. Game Tyrant has called this the best Turtles game in years. If that's not a testament to how awesome this game is, I don't know what is. Game Tyrant also goes on to say, The gameplay is a straight-up retro brawl. Characters can walk, run, jump, and attack. Button combinations perform special moves. For example, pressing down and attack throws your enemies. Each character also has their own special attack, which uses a meter-based system. For added variety, there are a handful of vehicles which can be found and commandeered for a limited time. When you complete a new level, you don't just progress in the game, you also unlock a few of the previously mentioned 60 playable characters. After some levels, Cuddly the Cowlick will appear. Cuddly is a trans-dimensional being from the Archie Comics run of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, who looks like a floating cow set. Activating it takes players to a random bonus level, where challenges can be attempted to win additional lives. Once you have tried Story Mode, there is also an Arcade Mode, where players can pick from every character already unlocked. Playing through these levels will unlock even more Turtles goodness and soon you will have a treasure trove of Turtles history playable throughout the game. So what do you think about the game if you've already played it? If you haven't played it, do you plan to download it and give it a go? Let's talk about that in the comments section down below. As always, I've been Derek and you've been me. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you like the content I'm putting out. Until next time, cowabunga dudes!